Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing measuring length. This will be the first lesson for our grade 7. So, measuring length. These are the things you need to remember. Meter is the basic unit of length in the metric system. The metric system is based on the powers of 10. So we have 10 millimeter that is equal to 1 centimeter. Uh, 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter. And 10 centimeters is equal to 1 decimeter. And 10 decimeter is equal to 1 meter. 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. To better understand, let's have this metric system. Okay, how to use this? So we have here the kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, dm, centimeter, the cm, and millimeter, the mm. Kilometer for km, hectometer for hm, and decameter for dam. We're going to use this to easily convert a number to the desired unit. So let's say we have number one. We're going to convert 9.2753 kilometers to centimeters. Notice that we're going, or here at kilometer, we need to convert to centimeters. In our table, the kilometer is located here. That is how many units from the centimeter? So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 units. That means in our decimal point, our decimal point is located here, we need to move 5 times to the right. So move 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we, need, we have an excess here, so we can write that as 9, 2, 7, 5, 3. And we have excess, we will write 0 on that. Understood that our decimal point is located here. It's okay not to write our decimal point because this is a whole number now. So our unit is... C M. Okay. That means 9.2753 kilometers is equal to 927,530 centimeters. Next, number two. 975 centimeters to meters. So, the given unit is centimeters we're going to convert to meters so we know that the decimal point is located here okay so in our table where is the centimeter here going to meter centimeter going to meter we need to move one two so we need to move twice Locate the decimal point, then move twice. One, two, period. That will become 9.75. The third unit is meter. So 975 centimeters is equal to 9.75. Now, number three, 
decimeter to hectometer. So in our table, locate the decimeter. Decimeter going to hectometer. So one, two, three. So from the decimal point, move three times to the left. So one, two, three. Period. So we have excess of two here, so we will write zeros on that. So we have zero point. We will write zero here. Zero. Another zero. Then. Zero, two, one, eight, four, two, one, eight, four. Our des desired unit is tectometer. Okay, that will be our answer. And for the last number, three point four two one four zero four kilometers to millimeters. Kilometers, locate, it's here, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We need to move 6 times to the right. From our decimal point, 6 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that will become 3, 4, 2, one four zero four and our unit is millimeter. Okay, that is on how to convert a certain unit to the desired unit. Measuring length. Now you are ready to answer your modules. Measuring mass. Or measuring weight so we can use different uh, devices to measure our weight or to measure math to measure mass mass is a measure of how heavy an object is these are the things we need to remember and gram is the basic unit of mass in the metric system we also have our conversion unit here, conversion table. We have kg, hg, bag, g, bg, cg, and mg. Kg stands for the kilogram. Hg stands for the hectogram. Bag stands for the decagram. And g stands for the gram. DG, decigram, CG, centigram, and MG, milligram. We will be using this conversion table to easily convert a certain unit to our desired unit. Let's have our example number one. 8 grams to kilogram. First, locate our given unit in our table. It's gram, it's here. We're going to kilogram. So gram to kilogram, we need to move one, two, three. So we need to move three times to the left. So we know that the whole number, the decimal point is located here. Eight, decimal point is located on the right side. So one, two, three. Period. Then we have two hollow. So write zero, zero. Therefore, our answer is zero point zero zero eight, and the desired unit is kilogram. That means eight grams is equal to. 0 0.008 kilograms. Understood? 
It's just like converting our last lesson to measuring length. We're going to use the same table, but in this case, our basic unit is the graph. Now let us try number two. Forty-five point six kilograms to gram. Again, the first step, locate kilograms. Kilogram going to gram. There is this. Kilogram. So one, two, three. We need to move three times to the right. So the decimal point is located here. So right, 45.6, move one, two, three. One, two, three, period. So our answer will be right zeros on our hollow. Four, five, six, zero, zero grams. That would be our answer. Next, convert two thousand five hundred grams to decagram. Gram. Or gram to decagram. One. We need to move one to the left. So, 2500, we know that the decimal point is located here. So, move one unit to the left. So, our answer will be 250 decagram. And for our last example, 0 0.053 hecto, well, it should be hectogram, hectogram to milligram. Where is the hectogram? It's here. We need to find the milligram. Now, let us count how many decimal places we're going to move. So one, two, three, four, five. We need to move five units to the right. So 0 0.053, the decimal point is located here. One, two, three, four, five. We have to hollow one. So that is, 5,300 milligram. Okay. 5,300 milligram. Measuring volume and capacity. So when we say volume, we will be dealing with the cube for us our exponent or the raised to three. Now, so in our basic conversion, 1 cm cube that is equal to 1 milliliter and 1 liter is equal to 0 0.1 meter cube and of course we have our conversion table now we summarize here we have the kiloliter for kl hectoliter for khl decaliter dl liter for l Deciliter for DL, centiliter for CL, and milliliter for ML. And I wrote here also the measuring for mass and measuring for length. Now, we're going to use this table to answer numbers 1, 2, and 3. Let's start with number 1. 25.97 cm cube to meter cube. So we have cm to meter. Where is cm to meter? So cm 
two meter. One, two. So we need to move two units to the left. But here in measuring volume and capacity, we are raised to three. So raised to three, that means after getting how many places you need to move on the desired unit, you need to multiply by three. So we know that there are two units, supposedly two times three. So there are six. That means we need to move six units to the left. So copy 25.97. So move six units to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four. So zero, 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 zero. For our final answer, this will become zero point zero 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 one two three four two five nine seven. This our unit meter cube. Cubic meter. Okay, that is number one. Next, number two. 0 0.625 cubic kilometers to cubic meters. Kilometers to meters. So where is it? Kilometers to meters. So how many places? One, two, three. Again, the so three. Again, we are in the volume, so times three. So three times three that will give us nine. So copy zero point six two five. We need to move nine units to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So write zeros. On the hollow board. So for our final answer, we have six two five, then one two three four five six. Six zeros. One two three four five six. And our unit cubic meter. Okay. And now let's proceed to number three. Fifty-three liters to cm cube so liters to cm cube first we need to convert our liter to a desired measurement our unit the cm we know that 53 liters is equal to 53 dm cube okay 53 liters is equal to 53 dm cube. So let us rewrite this as 53 dm cube. And now we're going to convert to cm cube. dm to cm. So dm to cm. So there are 1. So 1 multiplied by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. Okay? So we have 53, the decimal point is located here. We need to move three times to the right. One, two, three, zero, zero, zero. And for the final answer, that is 53,000 cm cube. Now, we are done in measuring length, measuring mass, and measuring volume. Your next lesson will be measuring temperature.